We begin with the reality check tonight. Gay marriage became legal four years ago, and the state of Alabama is still grappling with issuing marriage licenses to same-sex couples due to religious reasons. Republican State Senator Greg Albritton has proposed legislation that will end marriage licenses in Alabama entirely, and it already passed the Senate. NBC 15's Cassie Fambro spoke with Representative Albritton today and asked how this will affect Alabamians if it passes the House. Cassie? Kim, if this does pass the House, you won't have to go down to probate court and ask permission to get married. In fact, it'll put probate court out of the marriage license business altogether. In the late 1800s, people signed a registry and had it signed off on, and then they were married. Senator Greg Alberton wants to return to a simpler process by doing away with marriage licenses altogether. It fixes the problems. There's more litigation coming unless we do something. In the four years since same-sex marriage has been legal, Alabama has been embroiled in multiple scandals, including the removal of Chief Justice Roy Moore, who instructed probate judges not to issue marriage licenses. Senator Albritton represents Clark County, where Judge Valerie Davis stopped issuing marriage licenses, and Washington County, where Judge Nick Williams said he would not marry same-sex couples. In my district and throughout Alabama, there are whole counties that, that cannot, that do not have access to getting a marriage license. They have to go someplace else. Without going to probate court and getting a license, which expires within 30 days, how will couples be legally married? The couple takes the form, and then they sign the form. And that form consists of an affidavit saying, I, I am not married, I'm uh, overage, I'm not crazy, I'm not drunk, and all those other things that come into play. When it's signed, it's recorded, just like a mortgage deed or a car title. Now, you may have a ceremony. You can have a ceremony of any type, of any religion, at any point, but it doesn't affect the validity of the marriage. Senate Bill 69 passed unanimously and now heads to the House, where the first openly gay Alabama representative, Neil Rafferty, will keep a close eye on it. In a phone call today, he told NBC 15 he's in discussions with Alberton to make sure all implications are understood. Alberton says it's all about any discrimination, once and for all. We need to separate the religion and church and state, if you will, and that's what this bill does. Alberton says he believes they have the votes in the House to make marriage licenses in Alabama a thing of the past. For now, reporting in Mobile, Cassie Fambro, NBC 15.